Today, I'll delve into a detailed comparison of some of the top keyboards tailored for programming, evaluating them across various crucial aspects, switches, build quality and durability, comfort, typing experience, and value for money. Each category will be rated out of 10 to provide a clear understanding of how each keyboard performs in its respective field. Join me as I compare the Keychron Q1 Pro, Drop CDRL V2, Keychron V1, Keychron Q5 Max, and NeoFi Air 75 V2. These keyboards have been selected based on their performance attributes, which significantly impact the overall coding and typing experience. Links to all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description. When choosing a keyboard for programming, the type of switches it uses is a crucial factor as they determine the tactile feedback, responsiveness, and overall comfort during long coding sessions, significantly impacting your typing experience and productivity. Initially wrapping my fingers around the Keychron Q1 Pro's K Pro's red switches, their quiet and linear response was pleasant, though when compared directly with the Drop City RL V2's Cherry MX Browns, there was a noticeable tactile feedback in the latter that provided the satisfying bump which enhanced my typing accuracy considerably. Switching up to the Keychron V1, which I had also adorned with tactile brown switches, confirmed my presence for switches that strike a balance between smooth action and meaningful feedback. During frenetic gaming sessions, my preference slightly shifted towards the NeoFi Air 75 V2's Wisteria switches. Their responsiveness and low noise output were perfectly suited for both high-paced gaming and discrete office environments. However, the Gatoron G Pro Browns in the Keychron Q5 Max did not lag far behind, offering a robust tactile sensation that was never too loud, ideal for maintaining a professional atmosphere. The hot swappable feature across these keyboards commonly made customizability a breeze. Enhancing usability per my shifting needs between typing extensive reports and gaming, without the need for any soldering. In summary, comparing all these experiences, the CDRL V2's ability to change switches easily is a major win for flexibility, but doesn't feel as unique next to the swift and enjoyable typing of the sweet spot found in NeoFi Air 75 V2's Wisteria switches. My experiences distill into a decisive appreciation for certain attributes, quiet operation, tactile feedback and customization ease which shape daily usability immensely. For that, my personal switch preference ratings. In comparative perspective would be New Fire 75 V2 at 9 out of 10 for its superb balance, Keychron Q5 Max at 8 out of 10 for its professional feel, Drop City RL V2 following closely at 8 out of 10 for its tactile efficiency, Keychron Q1 Pro at 7 out of 10, and Keychron V1 at 7 out of 10, both offering great but slightly less engaging experiences. When considering keyboards for programming, evaluating the build quality and durability is crucial, as a well-constructed keyboard can withstand long hours of use and offers a reliable keystroke consistency that enhances the coding efficiency. From day-to-day -day use, each of these keyboards proves its metal in unique ways. The Keychron Q1 Pro and Q5 Max with their robust full aluminum bodies exude a premium feel that makes a big difference during long typing or gaming sessions, providing not just aesthetic pleasure but also a sense of long-term durability. The CDRL V2 matches this with its solid aluminum frame, presenting a slight edge with its magnetic feed which suggests attention to detail in build quality and user experience, making adjustments straightforward while also keeping the unit firmly in place. In contrast, the Keychron V1, despite its lower cost and plastic case, surprisingly maintains a sturdy feel, a testament to good design even on, on a budget. However, when compared to the aluminum-bodied competitors, V1's plastic build seems slightly less durable, particularly under intense use. The NeoFi Air 75 V2 stands out in this field for its hybrid design. Balancing a strong aluminum frame with a plastic bottom, which holds up remarkably well against its wally metal counterparts, making it an interesting middle ground in terms of both design and resilience. In everyday use, the durability of these keyboards becomes apparent not just in their resistance to physical stress, but also in how well they stave off wear like keycap shine and frame scratches. The double gasket design of the Keychron Q1 Pro and Q5 Max really shines here, reducing wear on components effectively, which I have noticed extends their pristine appearance and functional life. Summarizing these keyboards span a spectrum from high-end to budget-friendly without compromising excessively on quality. My personal ratings for their build quality and durability, based on their first-hand experience, would be Keychron Q1 Pro 9, Drop City RL V2 8, Keychron V1 7, Keychron Q5 Max 9, and NeoFi Air 75 V2 8. This reflects not just their material and design excellence, but also how they stand up to the rigors of everyday use. When it comes to choosing the best keyboard for programming, comfort is paramount, as developers often spend hours typing code, 
making ergonomics and key fuel essential factors for productivity and long-term health. Starting with the Keychron Q1 Pro, its stall profile sometimes strained my wrists during long typing sessions, despite its excellent build quality. On the other hand, the Drop City RLV2, although also featuring a high profile, benefited from aftermarket wrist rest solutions that I found to be necessary for extended comfort. The Keychron V1 with its incline settings offered a more adjustable typing angle, which slightly eased the discomfort experience with the Q1 Pro, although it still required an additional wrist rest for the best ergonomic setup. Moving to the Keychron Q5 Max, the typing angle was sufficiently comfortable for prolonged use even without a wrist rest, thanks to its thoughtful design. However, the new Fire 75 V2 stood out in terms of comfort due to its adjustable feet that provided multiple angle options and a low-profile design that naturally accommodated a less strenuous hand position. This design made it much easier to maintain comfort during long working hours, where others might start to fall short. In summary, Given the varied ergonomic features that needs for additional support, like wrist rest, here's how I'd rate each keyboard and comfort from 1 to 10, considering how they fit into daily usage. Keychron Q1 Pro, 6 out of 10, requires a wrist rest due to its taller profile. Drop City RLV2, 7 out of 10, high profile but improved with an aftermarket wrist rest. Keychron V1, 7 out of 10, benefits from its incline options but still benefits from a wrist rest. Keychron Q5 Max, 8 out of 10, comfortable for extended use even without a wrist rest. Neo Fire Air 75 V2, 9 out of 10, highly comfortable with adjustable angles and a low profile design that reduces strain. When selecting the best keyboard for programming, the typing experience is paramount as it directly affects typing speed, accuracy, and overall comfort during long coding sessions. In my day to day use, the Keychron Q1 Pro's gasket mounted design provides a springy response that makes typing feel more dynamic an experience somewhat paralleled by the Q5 Max, although the latter adds a more cushioned, satisfying thought with each keystroke due to its double gasket design. Comparatively, the Drop CDRL V2 brings a more tactile feedback with its Cherry MX brown switches, which, similar to Q1 Pro's red switches, are quiet yet offer satisfying feedback without the noise, which is great for shared workspaces. The Keychron V1 stands apart with its tactile brown switches and a price point that attracts newcomers balancing cost and performance commendably. Its typing experience, while not as refined as its higher-end siblings, is notably smooth and remains consistent even during prolonged sessions. On the other hand, the Neo Fire 75 V2's Wisteria switches provide smooth action and their low-profile design helps keep fatigue at bay during extended typing sessions, setting it apart as more ergonomically accommodating. In daily use, whether typing reports, coding, or gaming, each keyboard fits a niche. The Neo Fire's adjustable feet and low profile help maintain comfort over long hours, a feature that's comparable to the more advanced ergonomics offered by the Q5 Max's comfortable keycap profile and typing angle, though the latter's lack of a wrist rest can be a downside for some. Conversely, the Keychron V1's higher profile and plastic build don't detract from its reliable and enjoyable performance, offering solid value particularly for those newer to mechanical keyboards. To summarize, if I had to rate these keyboards on a scale from 1 to 10 based solely on typing experience, I'd give the Keychron Q1 Pro a solid 9 for its superior tactile feedback and satisfying sound profile. The Drop CDRL V2 would also receive a 9 for its exceptional build and customizable typing experience via programmable software. The Keychron V1, being an entry-level model, holds its ground with an 8, offering robust features at a lower price point. The Q5 Max, with its premium build and superb typing comfort, stands tall with a 9.5. Lastly, the Neo Fire Air 75 V2, innovative with its low profile and customizable options, earns an 8.5, making it an excellent choice for those who value compactness and comfort. When it comes to choosing a keyboard for programming, value for money is a crucial consideration as it ensures that you receive maximum functionality and durability from your investment without breaking the bank. Taking the Keychron Q1 Pro, Drop City RL V2, Keychron V1, Keychron Q5 Max, and the Neo Fire Air 75 V2 into my daily use, Weaving through tasks ranging from heavy typing to gaming has revealed a lot about each model's worth relative to its cost. Starting with the Keychron Q1 Pro, priced at around $199, it's a bit of a hefty investment up front. However, the delicious tactile consistency and stellar build convertible, the initial sting of the price tag. Comparatively, the Drop CDRL V2, similarly priced, offers exceptional customizability with hot swappable switches and robust software support. Though it lags slightly behind in the acoustic satisfaction of typing which the Keychron models excel in. 
On the more affordable end, the Keychron V1 at its price point provides an accessible entry into higher-end mechanical keyboards without compromising much on the quality or performance. It's particularly commendable for new enthusiasts. Elevating the budget, the Keychron Q5 Max, though pricier, justifies its tag through its unmatched build quality and a sublime typing experience that's hard to fault. Meanwhile, the Neo Fire 75 E2 stands out for its unique low-profile design and versatility with multiple connection options, making it an excellent value for those needing portability, combined with robust performance at about $119.95, the lowest among the mentioned models but packed with value. In summary, considering every aspect such as build, customizability, typing experience and additional features, I would rate the Keychron Q1 Pro at 8 out of 10 for its inviting blend of premium feel and robust performance. Drop City RL V2 also lands at a solid 8 for offering flexible features at high durability. The Keychron V1 presents remarkable value at a more favorable price point, deserving an 8.5 for balancing cost and quality efficiently. The Keychron Q5 Max steps up to a 9 due to its exquisite construction and exceptional typing feel. Finally, the Neo Fire 75 E2 rounds out an, at an 8.5, striking an impressive balance between cost features and portability. All these keyboards offer remarkable value in their respective ways, enhancing daily computing with a splash of delight in every keystroke. And after thoroughly testing each of these keyboards, I have discovered that each has unique strengths suited for different uses, making some better suited for certain scenarios than others. The Keychron Q1 Pro with a rating of 7.8 and its stable yet dynamic typing feedback is especially good for those who prioritize a solid, premium feel and consistent tactile responsiveness in their programming endeavors. The Drop City RLV2 rated at 8.0 stands out with its tactile Cherry MX browse switches tailored for those who appreciate detailed feedback and customization in their typing experience. On the other hand, the Keychron V1 with a rating of 7.5 presents a budget-friendly option that does not sacrifice much on performance or quality, making it suitable for newcomers to mechanical keyboards or those with more restrained budgets. For those looking for a blend of high performance in both quiet environments and during intense gaming sessions, the Neo Fire 75 E2 with its score of 8.6 is the perfect match due to its versatile, low-noise wisteria switches. And lastly, the Keychron Q5 Max, which leads slightly with an 8.7 rating due to its superior build quality and satisfying typing feel, would be the go-to for professionals seeking the best-in-class experience in both workplace and personal use. Each of these keyboards brings something special to the table, ensuring that any choice made will enhance your daily computing experience effectively. And with that being said, we reached the bottom of this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.